So Scott's idea was to do a to a, an AMA on our way to the yeah yeah or our just way to the like, clinic. We're not sure if we can actually film in the clinic or like the appointment or anything like that. We're going to ask, but usually uh, clinics like this have a no camera policy. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe if we just film ourselves and not the procedure or the doctor. Like I'm not going to film the procedure. Obviously, get COS. <laughs> But like, if we keep it on my face during the procedure or during the the consult or whatever, we'll we'll see. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll have your camera on your face, and then I'll record your balls, and please. we'll put that up on YouTube. Scott, please don't record my balls. I'm not promising I won't. There. We, we are on our way to go get my balls clipped. I'm yeah. getting a vasectomy today. I'm not like I'm not super nervous about this really. Really. Like, I thought I'd be more nervous, but I'm really not. So has anyone who's here had a vasectomy before? Like, what can uh, what can Zeke expect? Yeah, tell me the horror stories, because... Yeah, some people were linking some shit. Well, because CK's chat was <laughs> one of... Uh, Kat, Kat Sum... I don't know the exact how to say it. Yeah. But Kat was saying, like, Oh, have you, you can unvasectomy yourself, like... It can like unravel and like connect back up or something. I'm like, uh, what? what? Are you fucking kidding me? I it's heard, terrible. I heard the band. Oh, oh goodbye. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> the band can come undone, and then your ball sack fills with semen, and then it explodes. That's not a real thing, is it? I mean, that's not a real thing. My balls aren't going to explode, right? I mean, it sounds real. I have, I have what doctors have called <laughs> heterotestical hetero hetero what was it hetero testicles or something like that mm -hmm. where one ball is giant and the other yeah. ball is just real tiny it's a grapefruit grape situation down there <laughs> it very much is it's like you ever seen a model of the sun next to the earth <laughs> is this like tonsils and after it's done I gotta give Zeke's ball some ice cream you can have all the ice cream on your balls you want after the procedure. Uh, have had a vasectomy. Hurts a bit, but not that bad. Enjoy the smell of your own burning scrotum when they cauterize it. What? Hooray! Oh my god. My balls are burning! My balls are gonna burn, Scott! Like uh, Yosemite Sam? Yeah. My balls are burning! My balls are burning! No, more like, more like Bilbo. Extinguish me! <laughs> I thought there was a vasectomy where they can like inject something into the tubes instead of having to cut them. Is that a thing? Like, why aren't you doing oh, that? Oh, like clog like it a, up? Yeah, or like a stopper. I'm not sure. This the thing is with this, like it's such a like a, a standard and like unobtrusive right. outpatient procedure that there. I was like, okay, so when do I do my consult? They're like, oh, you do it the day of the surgery. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. And they're like, yeah, you do like a meeting with a doctor and then they take you in and do the sniff and I went oh wow all right then yeah so this will be the first time I've been in to the clinic have talked to the doctor because the only people I've talked to so far are just scheduling people oh uh, injectable vasectomies are being tested on monkeys right now oh well I know a perfect subject right here hey man I used to get my haircuts for free at the coiffure <laughs> art school <laughs> Maybe, maybe yeah. at, maybe well, at, at give me vasectomy those, school I'd get one for cheap. Can you give me one of those monkey vasectomies? <laughs> <laughs> After they give you the shot for the local anesthesia, make sure it is working. Because when I had mine, I hadn't completely set yet so that they had... The lady cut my right I ball and I it. felt it. Didn't hurt too bad though. Okay. That is a problem. That, that has happened to me before. I had a, um, a huge, like one of my okay. glands or something got infected or something I don't know but they had to go in and like well they had to cut it open to take all the infected pus out yes. and they injected me with they shot me up with whatever and it didn't fucking work so I felt them just going <laughs> and just like cutting the inside of my mouth I cried that was the that that, first time I've cried from pain since I was a, a child that's a legitimate reason and, oh fun fact this is the first time I have worn underwear on purpose yeah. in a very long time like whitey tidies or I'm wearing whitey problem. tidies man I'm wearing jockey you're I'm, supposed to. I'm full breaking bad up in here <laughs> do you think the doctor will kiss the incision after you're done and kiss my boo-boo like boo -boo, make it better yeah. 
I'm hoping we can get them to rate your balls and dick on like a scale <laughs> that the ones you've seen before. Does he not normally wear? No, I don't wear underwear. They don't serve a purpose for me, and they're uncomfortable. They get in the way. I mean, I wore underwear throughout throughout high school, and then when I turned like 18 ish, my buddy was like, he told me he didn't wear underwear. My buddy Eric, and I went, you can do that. And he's like, yeah, man. And I went, I'm gonna try that. And I went, fuck, this is way better. It's like, it's this superfluous cloth. And for those of you talking about like, well, for those people who talked about being clean and that kind of stuff, like, wipe your ass better. <laughs> I have to wear undies uh, with jeans because holy shit, it's like sandpaper with your dick tip. Well, I understand people wear underwear uh, if they wear tight pants. Yeah. But I don't wear tight pants, and in fact, I've almost completely stopped wearing jeans altogether. Unless it's a uh, special occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm going to a wedding or yeah, something. Yeah. Then, I'll throw wedding. On, then I'll throw on some jorts <laughs> for the wedding. But I wear sweats because I, I work from home and no one sees, like... And also, I stopped caring what people thought if I go out in sweats. Zippers can be a problem. Yeah, if you're not paying attention. Like, sure. One out of the gabillion times that I've zipped my pants up, have I caught any sort of skin in, in the zipper? Worth it, still worth it. <clears throat> Are they gonna have to shave his balls? Or like a section of it? Like when a dog comes home from the vet? Already did. Okay. <laughs> Already done. And in fact, you I, don't know if C, I don't know if CK is still here, but thank you for leaving that that uh, razor, that woman's razor, or the mm. like, uh, uh, leg and armpit razor because holy shit is it better? Did you go? It's like, way less dangerous. Did you go top to tail or is, do you still like have a hairy dick? No, I uh, all all below my waistline oh. is gone. I left my leg hair, but like all of that the crotchal area is, hair is gone. Dude, your razor is fucking fantastic. I was like, ooh, I took one swath. Of, like I lifted up the sack and I took one swath and I was like. Ooh, shit! Why would I do this any other way? You you might want to get a new razor, though. I would I would recommend buying a new one. Yeah, that one's done. Yeah. <laughs> that one's cashed in. I don't know how many times you're supposed to use a razor, but <laughs> okay. So um, we'll be cutting the stream here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, as soon as we find a parking spot and head up to the the doorway of the clinic, because I don't want to film without their permission. Um, we'll definitely be back later, maybe. I mean, maybe during the procedure, like on my face, or like maybe during the appointment or whatever, if they allow it. Not hopeful, but we'll see. But definitely afterwards. I'll definitely uh, be uh, going back live afterwards to tell you how it went and give you the aftermath and all that kind of stuff. Wait, is it next to that taco truck? <laughs> it is the taco truck. Oh man, they, tacos they, and disectomies. <laughs> they cut it and use it. They're very resourceful. <laughs> Is this tongue what I have? No, it's not. <laughs> not. Not quite. <laughs> All right, we're heading in. I'll see you on the flip side. And uh, maybe, maybe soon, maybe in an hour or two, okay? All right, bye. Just got my, just, my vasectomy is done. And let me tell you, it was fucking fast. It was fast as yeah. fuck. And it, there was almost no pain. Like, they took this, like a ballpoint pen, when you click it, mm -hmm. but it had like just a very small needle on the end. It's, that's what it seemed like. It felt just like he said. He said, it's gonna feel like you're gonna get, you're being snapped by a rubber band about six times. And that's exactly, it felt, I thought he meant one of those big fat rubber bands, but no, like one of those little tiny thin rubber bands. And that's what it felt like. It was like snap, snap, 
snap, snap, snap, did about six times. And then I didn't feel a fucking thing after that. Until uh, <laughs> they were asking me about my job, about Twitch, and about streaming, and about all that kind of stuff. And um, then I, I stopped and went, <laughs> I smelled my flesh burning because they cauterized the, uh, the tube. Once they cut it, cut it off, they cauterize it. And it was very strange to be in the middle of a conversation and go yeah. like, Are oh, my balls on fire? <laughs> Is that barbecue? Stop. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone say Tex-Mex? <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, I asked, you know, we, we said, I, I filmed stuff. We were hoping to film this. He was not okay with that. And then he also, after a couple of jokes, I told him that we well, actually... Oh, they were good jokes, they too. They were. They were really good I jokes. Told him, I told him we were a gay couple <laughs> and that we were having this done so that we wouldn't get pregnant. Yeah. And he didn't like that. He didn't think that was funny. The doctor no. had... The doctor was... I mean, he was pretty easygoing, but... Not when I started throwing out jokes. Yeah. And eventually, he, he made me go sit in the waiting room. He wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> he wouldn't let me go back there. Yeah. He, he kind of like... Brushed him off, yeah. and then Scott tried to make one more joke as he was leaving. No reaction. No, and he was like, "And your buddy will be out in the waiting room." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> uh, My was, balls are not gone, assholes. I uh, uh, listen. I'm going to post a picture uh, of, of my tubes. It's disgusting. I will post a picture of my tubes on Twitter, and they're both about like I don't know, a centimeter and a half, I two centimeters long. It's probably to scale to your penis. So, <laughs> you just loving this. You're just he's had, working on his tight five for the so night show jokes. or something. The nurse, the nurse was cool. The nurse. Oh, she it was totally funny. cool. Yeah, the nurse was totally cool for sure. The doctor, I, there was another joke, and he didn't like that too. But I can't remember what it was. But anyways, so the procedure went very well. It was super quick. I asked him like, how long is it gonna take? And he's like, about ten minutes aside. And I went, wow, damn. And that's exactly what happened. He comes in, comes over, puts some sort of like antiseptic or something like that on my balls, and then he takes out his like his little needle gunish thing and goes like snap, 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 snap to numb up everything. I didn't feel a fucking thing. I talked throughout the entire thing, didn't feel a thing. I was like, all right, one side done, other side coming. Yeah, About this, ten minutes. This doctor does a no scalpel. No, uh, what was the other one? He said, like, no scalpel, no something, uh, vasectomy. Yeah. So it, like, it's like this little thing that kind of goes just where it needs to be. You didn't have to, like, cut the sack open or anything like that. Yep. You didn't yep. have to bust it open like a piñata. Yeah. I'm guessing he, like, went in there. Oh, no scalpel, no needle. No, nah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. No scalpel, no needle surgery, but... The thing, like he does this, this doctor does a triple vasectomy, like a, a, a three, excuse me, a th not a triple vasectomy, a three, <laughs> three step vasectomy, which is uh, clip, cauterize, uh, uh, clamp, clip. So he has these titanium clips. So once he snips it, takes out the section, cauterizes both ends, and then folds both ends over and, and clamps them with a, a, a he said it's like a like titanium a clip. Yeah, basically. It's a three-step process. He did the left testicle, the right testicle, and then he removes the penis. It's very easy. It only took like 10 minutes. Wait a minute. Oh, God. There you. Where's my cock? You, you said you didn't want to have kids. I hope it's inside me. <laughs> um, it's inside someone. Yeah. I'm feeling like a little bit of discomfort now. Uh, I described it to Scott as being like, um, have you ever been kicked in the testicles? Like, you got your balls kicked. Like, the tail end of the pain of that, like, not the immediate, but like, you know, like, a couple of minutes later when it's, the pain is starting to subside, it's just minor discomfort right now. But the anesthetic is wearing off, so we'll see. We're, we're actually on our way to the grocery store to get <laughs> bags of frozen peas. Yeah. Because I'm supposed to ice, ice down my boys for the next 48 hours, like, regularly. Uh, so yeah, so... Like, I, I'm still kind of uh, amazed at how quick and easy and painless it was. Mm -hmm. He did say that it can be reversed 
every, I think he said every 10 years that goes by. No, every year that goes by. Oh, every year. Yeah, okay. it's, it's uh, reversal is 80% successful. Then after the first year, yeah. 70. Yeah. And then it goes down yeah, 10%, 10% every year as far as reversibility goes, so. Until about 20%. Yeah. So. So the doctor explained as far as ejaculate goes, um, 95% uh, of your ejaculate will still be there. 5% counts as like sperm and whatever comes out of your testicles. The rest of it is seminal fluid and it, like that kind of stuff. It, like the proteins that the prostate makes. Yeah, the, sperm. the stuff the that sugar. gives the sperm energy to go and the stuff that like lubes its path. What was weird though is he said it should still taste the same after the operation too, which I, I didn't. I don't know why he brought that. You know, I should have asked him to put like a Tic Tac in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mint it up a bit. Like, Can you You're just minty. <laughs> Could you add strawberry daiquiri flavor? <laughs> Could you put some bubble gum yeah. in there? <laughs> put some great bubble gum. Oh, can you make it so when I squeeze my left testicle, the like antibacterial soap comes out? It would just save so much time. I could, Especially I could, in these days. I could wash my hands by jerking off. Yeah. It'd be great. So no, no, uh, no jacking. No jacking for me for a week. Uh, seven. I got to do seven full days without uh, spanking it. So. I'm sorry. I mean, with with the discomfort I'm feeling, like it's, I'm I'm in no mood to do it anyway. <laughs> but. If it's not a mistress's heel stomping on him, it just doesn't have the pain's just not the same. He got to spit on my face. Oh, Call yeah. me a worthless piece of shit. It's yeah. The ambiance. You need the ambiance. <laughs>